Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying an Urban Pie Pizza Company. This is an uncured pepperoni with creamy rosa sauce pizza. It has a thin artisan crust. It was $13.99 at the Fresh Market. Um, I will tell you right now, uh, they do sell these at Whole Foods, and they're about $3 cheaper at Whole Foods. So, we didn't know that, though. We did not know, of course, or we would have bought it at Whole Foods. Um, in our area, they only sell these in the Fresh Market and Whole Foods. You won't find them in Kroger, Meyer, Walmart, Target, any of those places. Just those two stores. So, um, yeah, you, you don't think of going to a, uh, Whole Foods for, for a cheaper price. But on these, it was like, oh my gosh, that's, that's a huge price difference. But we just happened to stop at the Fresh Market first. So, uh, what you want to do is you want to preheat your oven to 425. You want to take off the plastic, just like I'm doing. And you want to put this on the center rack, just the pizza. Keep this so that when you take it out, you can put it back on the cardboard and you can cut it. Uh, but you want to uh, bake it for 11 to 13 minutes and then enjoy. So we're going to cook it, uh, bake it for the full time, the whole 13 minutes, and then we'll be back. So here it is after the full 13 minutes, which isn't a long time to wait on a pizza, no, I don't think. It's pretty thin though. Yeah, it is thin. Um, it says thin artisan crust. 100% uh, real RBST free cheese. Pork raised without antibiotics. No artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. So this pizza, it says unique flavors. At Urban Pie, we refuse to compromise. We are driven to offer new, unique, and exceptionally tasty flavor combinations that elevate what pizza can be. At the same time, we focus on doing it all with nothing but the highest quality ingredients full of the great flavors you love. Enjoy Urban Pie Pizza that's carefully sourced and extraordinarily delicious. At Urban Pie, we are committed to good, which means we only use the highest quality ingredients. Urban Pie has no artificial colors, flavors, or preservatives. We use cheeses that are our BST free, our meat and chicken are raised without antibiotics. Try Urban Pie and you'll taste the difference in every bite. What's funny is uh, right before we started this video, I looked at where these are made. Uh, they're made by Palermo in uh, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's Screaming Sicilian. That's, so they also make those. They make Screaming Sicilian, they make Palermo. Now we know they make Urban Pie. We did not, uh, we went and toured uh, Screaming Sicilian. And when we went in that day, they were making pizzas for a certain place. But it wasn't this one. It wasn't Scrim Sicilian, and it wasn't Palermo. It was a different one. And uh, they did say that they alter the uh, sauce, the ingredients for the sauce. Uh, but it's for a completely different uh, place. But it's interesting that they sell so many pizzas under different names. Yeah. And uh, yeah, it makes you wonder if Urban Pie. Well, no, if it's made by them, I mean that means it's that's right. their brand. Right. But okay, the pepperoni, it's gonna be the same pepperoni. You would think so. It may not be. It may not be. You might switch it out. But you would think it would be the same pepperoni on a scrimmage Sicilian. Palermo as it would be on an urban pie. You would think know. they, um, we know the machines, it's... it's the same machines, yeah. Mm -hmm. so. That could be different pepperoni. They might switch out cheese and everything. I mean, could be. The machines switch out. Could be. A uh, fourth of the pizza is 350 calories. So, it's uh, what, 700? Seven. For the... For, for half. For half, yeah. Which is what we eat. Yeah, we, we split it. Yes, I eat as much as Kevin, so, okay. Not always. Then I'm sure I'll eat two pieces of it. Usually I eat the whole thing. I like that crust. Mm-hmm. Very crunchy, um, thin crust. Mm-hmm. So it says the, um, it says uncured pepperoni with creamy rosa sauce. Pizza, marinara, alfredo sauce blend, parmesan romano diced provolone. You know, I don't, I did see the diced cheese on there. 
I don't actually see a lot of sauce on here, period. Yeah, not at all. No, no. Mm -mm. no I don't see much sauce on there at all. Which I'm okay with. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly fine. Yeah. All right, the only bad thing is without a lot of the sauce, you don't get that really um, kind of sweet, savory uh, tomato sauce flavor. Mm -hmm. You, you kind of miss out on that a little bit, but I think I like it. I like it quite a bit, actually. I do too, and I, I like it that's the thin crust. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think. We've had the Scrim Sicilian, I'm thin and crispy. Uh, we've had the pepperoni. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to think which one I like better. I don't think this pepperoni is the same. I know. I'm thinking it's, there's, the screen seal one's a little bit bigger maybe, and it has a little more spice to it. Whereas this one's a little more, I hate to say plain, but that's, it really that's is. That's what I'm plain. thinking. I'm thinking this doesn't have as much flavor that this pizza in general mm -hmm. i'm not speaking specifically to the pepperoni i would have to have them side by side to compare them yeah but just in general there's in general there's not a lot of standout flavor in this no mm -hmm. i like it it's good it's good you mainly get cheese and crust i, I do get a lot of the crust flavor. yeah yeah, yeah the, but, the, but I, you can actually taste the cheese which is a good thing mm -hmm. um, i do get the pepperoni flavor it's just not a strong flavor it's just a kind of the background kind of flavor Mm -hmm. Love the crust though. The crust is like top notch. Mm -hmm. Very crispy. Mm -hmm. I like that. Did you get the back? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I really like it. I like how it baked. It baked well. Like I said, it didn't take long. I don't think, you know, once your oven's preheated to 425, for you to only have to wait 13 minutes. I don't think that's bad at all. Mm. I think this is nice. Mm. I would normally go for something jazzier, and that's just me. You know, um, if I like to have all the meat or... Um, uh, like a Supreme. Yeah, or like uh, I love the uh, Scrimmage to see. My favorite Scrimmage to see, and I'm Thin and Crispy is their double sausage. Mm -hmm. it's really love good. it. Um, but... I'm really impressed with their thin crust in general, and I've said this before too, um, it makes me feel better eating it that it's not as many calories mm -hmm. as uh, like a Motor City pizza, and I love Motor City pizza. There's a lot of bread there. But it's a lot of bread. It's a lot of bread, and it's a lot of calories. Yeah. So if I don't want as many calories, but I still want my pizza, well, now I know I can get an urban pie or, uh, but it's funny. Well, sure. That's what the sauce looks like. I mean, you can tell it's hardly. What's needed. funny to me is that you can only get urban pie at Whole Foods or the Fresh Market in our area. Guess what they don't sell at Whole Foods or the Fresh Market? <laughs> they don't sell screaming seeing. Mm -hmm. So, this is for those people, literally, to make them feel like I think like they're getting something. Um, special. special, yes. So let's put it in a black box and make them think it's special. And they have to pay more for it. They have to pay fourteen dollars for it. When you could go to Walmart and get a scream to see and I'm thin and crispy pepperoni for how much? Eight dollars, eight or ten dollars. Yeah, that's a mind trick. I'm mm -hmm. sorry to say because I do like the I like the scream to see is just as good. Uh, pull all the pepperoni and eat just by itself. Okay. Because when you pull it off by itself and eat it, mm -hmm. you do get a lot of the spices. Mm -hmm. So it's just when you mix it in with the cheese and, and the, whatever that sauce is, uh, and the crust, once you mix it all together, the, the pepperoni flavor really diminishes, but it's got quite a bit of spice. It does have quite a itself. bit of spice when you eat it all by itself. Yeah, like that's right funny. now, like the roof of my mouth is tingling. Yeah, from the, from the little heat from, from the, the spices. From the pepper and yeah. Um, I, I like it. There's yep. nothing wrong with it. It's too much. But I'm just telling you, you can go and get your screaming to see and it, get the thin mm -hmm. pepperoni and it, it, it tastes just as good. Yeah. Just as good. I mean, if you worry about all that RSBT, whatever it was. I bet you screaming to see says the same thing on their box. It may be. I bet you it does. Mm -hmm. And that has not been proven to make any difference at all. So yeah. just throwing that out there. I'm just saying. If you worry about that kind of stuff, you might want to look at the ingredients. But beyond that, I think they're 
I, I, th I would just soon get up the thin crust cream. Why wouldn't too. you? Yeah, why wouldn't you choose a cheaper pizza? But I'm telling mm -hmm. you, this is just, just, just funny. But it is good. So it is good. Yes, it is good. So you'll have to let us know. Have you tried Urban Pie? We bought two of these to review. This is the first one. We have another one. There were a couple of other ones they had that we were not interested in. There's one that had truffle. No. Truffle's not our thing. No. I like mushrooms, but I don't like truffle. Hard pass on the truffle, mm -hmm. so we're not trying that. And then there was another one with... Um, All I remember is goat cheese. Goat cheese and vegetables. Like it had... It, it was looked, something else, though. No, but it looked like it had peppers. Like yeah. like different peppers. It wasn't the goat, goat cheese, cheese that stopped. And, it was something else and goat cheese. I'm thinking it was vegetables. Mm -hmm. I thought that's what it said. I don't, I don't but remember. it just didn't sound interesting. Yeah, didn't sound uh, like I said, we like the meaty things. So yeah. that's what we, If they had had a plain cheese, we would have bought that. But they didn't. So, uh, yeah, you'll just have to tell us what your experience with them has been like. I hope you enjoyed the video, and thanks for watching.